Before investigating letters and Postmaster General Franklin, Toast has something to say to all of you. Busy kids. Now, if I can only find you. Look no further, dude. You found me. Not you, it's the letter you. I got a letter for you right here. Check it out, bro. Ed McMahon says you may already be a winner. <laughs> Stickers. Awesome. Plus a bonus. I'll deliver this letter to Sacramento and be quick about it. It's very important. Dude. Thank you. And now back to more hysteria. <laughs> On 1775, Benjamin Franklin heard the news about the investigating letters. They were the toys everywhere in this place. Remember, a stitch in time saves nine. Huh? A cat without gloves catches no mice. What? Visitors and fish smell in three days. What's he talking about? Like I didn't know girls were allowed to be Mounties. They won't be until the 1970s. We just thought we looked hot in these red jackets. Yeah, right. Uh, there was a letter F that has a secret code on this piece of letters for Loud Kittyton. So I want you to have this. Oh, totally different. Uh, don't you know it's gonna be all right? Yeah, at 37, he was elected to the U.S. Congress. Well... Stuck-up bike, boys. So much for the customer always being right. Am I in the right place? Bro, go there. Thank you. Thank you very much. And so, while Kittyton is going to investigate the letters from the toys... When he arrived, the people want to help the Tories working on the letters with the monies on it. You can lead a horse to water, but it's tough getting those swim fins on his hoofs. I still have that message for you! It's from Washington! I've been trying to! Sheesh, what a nut! It's all right, folks. Mal Kittyton and the rest of the Tories are looking for the letters, while John Hancock and John Adams appoints Ben Franklin to do the Postmasters. When the world had just begun, there lived a boy named Kiddington. Boom! He really stood out in a crowd. He yelled real loud, the Kiddington. People who live in glass houses should never throw stones. People who live in glass houses should get some curtains, dude. Nobody wants to see your gnarly nudity. Nasty. The time, 7075, the place, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The postmaster, General Franklin, begins with Lion Kittyton and Steeper the horse. Do yourself. Lion Kittyton and Steeper will go down in history to the left of the mail from Philadelphia to New York. That's what Lion Kittyton's gonna do for us all. The British Redcoats had already taken over Boston, and they had a hankering to occupy the hills. In response, the Americans fortified Bunker Hill and awaited the British attack. Tea party! Why, how terribly British of you. Well, we may hate the king's living guts, sir, but we still enjoy a spot of tea now and then, eh, eh? Yes, don't we all? Indeed we do, sir. Splendid! I think a pot of chamomile for this time of night. Coming right up, sir. Oops. And so, in the summer of 1776, America finally has a fight to call its own! What a guy. For want of a nail, the shoe was lost. For want of a shoe, the horse was lost. For want of a horse, the rider was lost. Uh, for want of a clue, I am, like, totally lost. Now back!